The future is here, or at least it is at the recent Equip Field Days in Canada, New South Wales. Placed smack bang in the middle of Case IH's elaborate stand at the Field Days was a machine that looked like it belonged in a sci-fi movie. This is Case IH's ACV, or Autonomous Concept Vehicle, which has been designed to be remotely controlled or programmed to operate autonomously without human intervention. So it's a tractor of the future, but the question is, where's the cab? Well, it's not meant to have one. It's a representation of what farming could look like into the future. And so it's got some futuristic looking styling, but you can also notice it's, it does not have a cab on the tractor. It's more of a, a tractor to get everyone's attention and to thinking about it. Being one of the global leaders of agricultural technology, Case IH began looking into autonomous technology several years ago. Last year, it lifted the lead of its cabless, driverless tractor concept at a 2016 Farm Progress show in Illinois, USA. This tractor actually uh, autonomously put seed in the ground that was harvested last year and was monitored remotely uh, from a combine that was harvesting right next to it. And so it's, uh, it's got some advanced technology um, with a command and control system on it that can, um, that can actually execute a mission plan in the, in the field. But there's three areas to the technology. So there's a command and control center on this, uh, for this tractor that has uh, a remote user interface. And so it can be controlled from a tablet. Um, that is either uh, in an office location or from a truck at the end of the field. The other part is the sensing and perception system, uh, which you can actually visually see on the front of the tractor. For the sensing and perception to understand what's in the front of the tractor, it uses a combination of LiDAR, radar, and cameras and the, the tractor can fuse those images together um, to see what's in front of it, to be able to see if there's an obstacle or uh, you know, take any evasive action if, if there's something in front of it. It also uses two GPS receivers that are in the fenders on either side, and those are underneath where you see the, the black stripes on there, so that has clear GPS communication. And you can see the antennas on top, and that's for the radio communication between the other vehicles and the centralized uh, command and control system. While it may be tempting to pull out the checkbook, Case IH says the technology is not quite ready for the market. The technology itself is still a concept, but it's really, we see it as an evolution of our auto guidance. So as we're looking at the future of our auto guidance technology, we're putting the full system together of where we think we need to go. The big thing to understand is we're incubating the, the full solution for driverless vehicles, but understanding what value we add along the way. Uh, we're really trying to address the, the real world concern that we see in all regions of the world is the lack of skilled labor and it takes a certain amount of skill to, to drive equipment in the field and at those different points of the year during planting season or it might be harvest season, there, there's a need for skilled labor only for a few weeks out of the year. And so if you can use, utilize some of the lower skilled labor and put them in the vehicle, the vehicle can be completely automated, you can still get a solution that adds value to the customer. While you may not see one of these sleek looking machines out working on a field near you anytime soon, Autonomous technology is already becoming available and it's only a matter of time before it spreads far and wide. I think you could see um, some early adaptations on some select applications in the next three to five years. So we're not too far off. Um, it could be some more simple operations on, on tillage or spraying over time as we start to um, automate the, the tractor implement combination. The, the portfolio will expand from there.